TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. To you today about table selection techniques in Microsoft Word 2010. When you work with text, and let's say in that text you want to put a different color on that particular word or a sentence or a column, uh, or I misspoke, yeah, you could do a column actually. But in order to change it, you first have to select it. Well, the same concept holds true when you're working with tables. So what I want to show you in this tutorial is just a little bit about the table itself and how to select certain pieces of the table. First of all, if we bring the pointer down above any one of the columns, just sort of like on the line of the top column, what you're going to see is we're going to get this skinny, tiny little it's not really skinny, but it's a thicker black arrow. So if I click once, it selects the entire column. Let me do that again. I clicked away from it, it took the selection off. Let me bring the pointer down just slightly above the top line of the column, and I get that little arrow. I click once and I select it all. Let me click away, show you one other thing. Let's say we want to select multiple columns. Well, if I come down and click once and hold the drag either to the left or to the right, I can select multiple columns. So it's one really easy way to do it. Okay, so that's a selection of columns. If you want to select multiple cells, and again, this table is made up of cells. This is a cell, this is a cell, this is a cell, they're all cells. We have an 8x8 table, there's 64 cells. You'll notice some of the cells are bigger in size than others. The reason for that is because some of the typing I put in have made things deeper, for example, right here. But if I want to select cells, I can click in one cell, drag over, drag down. I could drag the other way. It doesn't really matter, but I can select multiple cells to put some type of characteristic on them. Maybe it's the color of the text within those cells. It could be a number of things. So I've shown you how to select cells and columns. Let's talk about rows. Well, if I want to select a row, what I can do, and I clicked prematurely, but let's say that I want to click a row. When I bring my pointer over the left hand side of the table, you'll see I get a pointer that's sort of pointing towards 1 o'clock. Well, I don't even have to get that close to this, but if I just put the pointer out there and click and hold, I select an entire row. Let me do that again. And again, if I want to select multiple rows, I can bring it down and select multiple rows. You'll also notice when I came in a little closer, I get that th sort of thick black arrow, when I click and hold, I can drag down and over. It's sort of another way to select some information. So these are basic selection techniques. You'll also notice, and I'll just point out here, again, I have the column, I have rows going from left to right. Also, in this cell, and also all the cells in this table, I have borders. I have black lines all around the table. I can actually change the borders. Of all the things you do in tables, I find that to be not necessarily confusing, but it's one of those things I don't do that often, so uh, yeah, I guess I do get a little confused when going in to work on borders. But we'll revisit that in another tutorial. So the last thing I want to show you is over here on the top left hand corner there's something called the table move handle. And if I put my pointer on that and just click and hold, I can move the table around the page and place it elsewhere. So again, that only shows up when I'm near the table, if I click and hold, I can move it right up here, and let's see what it does to the text. So you can take a table and move it around with the table move handle. So these are some of the basic concepts of selecting information within a table. You'll need to know this so that you can do certain things within that table as far as changing colors, merging cells, putting new columns or rows in. These are just good techniques to know about. My name is Tony Hollowitz, and I want to thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day.